there planners, today we are going to be setting up my personal bullet journal and personal planner for the month of May. So go grab your planners and let's get planning. Alright, so for setup for the month of May, I'm going to be using my A5 personal bullet journal, which is a Stology notebook in a Kiki K uh, cover as well as my B6 Everyday Carry Rings Planner, which is in a uh, Print Pressions uh, ring planner cover in the color Sand. And um, I'm gonna start with my bullet journal uh, because that is where I do a lot of my brain dumping and just getting things out of my head and preparing for uh, the month ahead. So going to turn to the next blank page and go ahead and set up uh, this cover page. I'm actually just going to put this vellum uh, right on this page, tape it down right to this page. So this uh, cover page, I'm actually, I made this myself. I am going to make this available to you. So if you will hop on over and join the Planning Annie Facebook group, I'm going to um, have this loaded there for uh, the Facebook group. Um, folks to access and use in your planners. It was super simple to make. Um, I got this picture from Pexels, uh, which is a place that you can grab some copyright free images. Um, I love the color. It's got kind of a gray background, but really pretty soft pinks. Um, I love the flower. Uh, and uh, the month of May. Um, so this is going to be my cover page. Now you could use this cover page in um, your bullet journal. You could add it as a tip-in um, if you wanted to to your bullet journal. You could also uh, punch it and put it in a ring planner and because it's an image you can print it at any size um, so it's going to fit all kinds of planners. So um, I hope that you enjoy that little freebie um, and um, that it helps make your planner for the month of May. Very special and uh, beautiful. Okay, So that's the monthly uh, cover page. Now let me flip over. What I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to set up a couple of pages that I will use for the whole month. The first one is a two page spread which is so important. It's one of my um, one of my most important pages and that is my monthly brain dump. Um, I've grabbed some um, some Tombows here. I really feel like this is going to be my color scheme uh, for the month of May. Uh, I am going to capture that here on the brain dump page so I remember but um, I've got 873, 942, 723, and 761. Just some really soft uh, pastel pinks, peaches, that's just kind of going to be my uh, color scheme for the month of May. So um, I'm going to outline this page and kind of set it apart and uh, go ahead and give it the label of brain dump and then I will pull out my brain dump triggers and show you how I use those. So I'm very interested to hear how you all use brain dumps as part of your planning system. I am becoming increasingly um, you know, uh, reliant on my brain dumps to get everything out of my head uh, and into my planning system. And so I'm just curious how you all are using brain dumps um, in your planning system. All right, so very simple setup here. I've got that set up and I'm going to um, use this just to get everything in my head out. And so what I'll do is I'll go over to my ring planner where I have actually made my brain dumb triggers an insert um, that I can just pop in and out. Um, I actually need to laminate this. And then I've also got a place on the back to add additional brain dump triggers uh, as I need to. So. Uh, I'm going to go off camera and complete the brain dump and then just come back and let you see kind of what it looks like. All right, so I've gone through my brain dump triggers list and I have put all of the things uh, that just sort of were on the top of my mind for the month of May and a little bit further out here. I've got plenty of room to keep going and I will keep going. Um, you know, as things pop up, I'll, I'll come in here and pop them down here. The other thing I added on this side was I did put in a, um, just a color code um, to remind myself, you know, which, uh, which Tombos am I using this month? What's my color theme of the month? I do like to stick to a color theme because it helps me 
uh, be able to separate the sections quickly when I'm flipping through my bullet journal. Um, so, you know, um, you can easily see all of the purple uh, in the month of April and um, that is easy for me to see as I'm flipping through, whereas this month I'm going to see a lot of these uh, peaches and pink colors and neutral colors. So the other thing I've added here is stick sticky notes here, and that's because uh, every month I end up with a lot of sticky notes, and you'll see those in a minute as I get to uh, my rings planner. I use a lot of sticky notes for pre-planning. I have a hard time throwing those away. I don't know why. It's just like, what if there's a piece of information on that sticky note that I needed um, that didn't get transferred? And so I just want a safe place to stick sticky notes um, instead of throwing them away. All right, so now that I've got my uh, brain dump all set up and, and built out here, I am ready to start populating my ring planner, which is my everyday uh, carry. If you would like to see a full flip through of this planner, I just recently did one. Um, you can see how it's all set up and I will have that link down uh, below in the description box. Um, so I'm not gonna do a full flip of this, but I will touch on the sections that I am going to be using, which first of all, I will pop out my little sticky note um, uh, dashboard here because I will probably be using sticky notes as I go through uh, through this setup. Um, I don't have anything on my uh, inbox right now that I need to deal with. Here's my brain dump triggers. I put them back where they go. But I do have a couple of things I want to add to my waiting on list. The other thing I'll say is once I add something to the system where it goes, I do like to come back to it on the brain dump list and just give it a little check. Now that doesn't mean for on the brain dump page, a check mark doesn't mean that it's done. It just means that it's been put into the system, my planning system, wherever that is, um, that I don't need to worry about it on this list anymore, that it's in the system wherever it needs to go. It's been categorized and processed and and it's safe I will not lose it um, but that's how I handle um, just kind of getting things off the brain dump list if something stays on the brain dump list too long and I don't get a check mark um, then that's when I would come in here and put it on my someday maybe list and you'll see I've already got items on here um, and that's exactly how they ended up there all right so I've added just a couple of items on my waiting on list and I um, you know, I check back on these lists and try to keep them, you know, up to date. So uh, I will just take those off when they need to be off. I don't have anything else that needs to be added to my someday maybe list right now. Um, I am good with that. So I've already started, you can see I've already started to do some work here. Um, I've got a list of must-do items that I've been keeping on my sticky notes. See, this is exactly the type of thing um, that I will have a really hard time throwing that sticky note away. Even though I'm going to put these items in the planner, I, I just won't be able to throw the sticky note away. So I will put it right there. Um, and that way I I know it's safe. I can always access it if I need to. It's not gone anywhere. It's right there. Um, and, you know, I can get to it if I need to. But what I am going to do is add them into um, the, uh, the must-do section. All right, so now I've got those captured there um, for priorities for the month of May. So first and foremost, I am going to be doing a uh, my annual detox, um, which I do... Um, once a year, I do sort of a detox of sugar. So I cut out all sugar. Um, I go through like a five-day really intensive detox and then followed by kind of no carbs at all um, for about 30 days. And it's not something I do all the time, um, but I do try to do it once or sometimes twice a year depending on how I'm feeling. Um, but it's a great kind of reset for my body. And so I am going to be uh, doing that in the month of May which means I'm going to probably be pretty cranky at the beginning of May because uh, it does, it's really wild how your body responds to um, cutting out uh, some of the uh, sugar when you have been consuming sugar on a regular basis. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you're just steady eating candy. Um, I'm, I don't, but um, you know, you, you eat more sugar than you know if you're not paying attention. Um, so that is definitely going to be one of my priorities uh, this month. I am also going to say uh, I have a trip to see some family that I haven't seen in a while. Um, and that is going to be 
a great uh, a great opportunity and I'm really looking forward to that and so just be making sure to get everything done with work and and my schedule so that I can really uh, focus in and enjoy that that's going to be good and then the other um, priority that I'm going to go ahead and capture here is um, my husband has a trip planned and um, is leaving myself and my daughters uh, here and so I want to make sure we have a really good time um, and get some quality mom daughters time in during that um, during that period so I've got that on the priorities list to really uh, help me to remember to make sure that that is a good time and have some fun things planned for us so um, those are the priorities that I have um, I've talked about this insert before um, I am loving this insert I made this myself it's really working very well um, and um, it's good for pre-planning and I've got you know this page for all of the months ahead I've also already done some planning on uh, this page as well and you can see I'm pulling off these sticky notes all these sticky notes are going right on the sticky notes home page all right so I've got the monthly calendar set up the next section is um, my meal planner and goes right into the week so I am not going to set the weeks up I'll actually do a weekly plan with me sometime in the month of May um, but I did want to show I've got the May gratitude and the meal planner uh, in between the month and where the week starts so uh, that's kind of the setup of the um, of the planner I hope you enjoyed this plan with me I hope you enjoyed seeing how I set up the month uh, I keep it very simple and what I'll uh, is really just come in here and set up uh, pages a page a day uh, for each of the days of the month and that's where this is where I do my Bible journaling and memory keeping things like that and then um, this is really the the very functional section of my planner um, particularly the weeks and I will be coming back to do a weekly uh, setup video for you sometime later this month I hope you enjoyed this plan with me video. I would love to hear from you. How are you setting up the month of May? Are you experiencing any changes in your planning system? Um, if so, what are they? What's working? What's not working? I would love to hear all of that from you uh, in the comments down below and feel free to leave any questions there as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it to let me know. Subscribe to Plan and Annie for more content like this. And as always, thanks for planning with me.